Hi guys, welcome to my tutorial on how to create a macro that will insert a new row and also ensure that the new row that has been created has uh, appropriate grid lines. To start off with this tutorial, please ensure you follow my other video which shows you how to enable the developer tab and also enables macros to run. The link's been shown. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is click developer and press insert. What we need to do is we need to insert a button. Underneath where it says ActiveX controls, select the top left button symbol. You, you can see now that the cursor has changed to a cross. You want to put this button above where you're going to be creating a new row. So in this instance, I'm going to be creating a new row at A4. I therefore want to put my button above the row. You can now move this button, resize using the tabs on the corners. Now, the caption on this button is Command Button 1. To change this so it's clearer for whoever else is using the spreadsheet, right click and go to Properties. Where it says Caption, change the value for caption to whatever you want it to be. In this case, New Row. Do not change the name of the button because this changes how the code references the button. Once that's done, close that down. Okay, you can see here that design mode is highlighted. When the spreadsheet is in design mode, you can move the macros around and double clicking the button will bring you to the code. I'll just close that down for now. So, if you wanted to run the macro, you would come out of design mode. You can see it's now unhighlighted and click the button. Nothing will happen as there is no code at the moment. Go back into design mode and double click new row. Okay, I'm going to show you the code that's run here and I'm going to briefly explain how to use it. Okay, here we can see sheet 1. That is defining what sheet the range is going to be in. So, you have the sheet and the range. If I go back to one second, the spreadsheet, you can see here I am on sheet 1. So, if you are on if you have renamed the sheet to something else, you also need to ensure that that change has reflected here. The range is where on the sheet you are going to want to insert a new row. So in this case, I'm going to want to insert a new row at A4, which will drop down this down by 1. If you wanted to insert a new row at A9, so here for example, an entirely new row, you would select A9 as the range. Oops. Okay, this part here ensures that grid lines are applied to the new row. It's a very similar concept to this. You define the sheet and you define the range. So I'm creating a new row, but for my columns, I have A to E. So you can see here, A4 to E4, because that's where the new row is going to be created. Once you feel comfortable changing those values to what you need, close this down. OK. To run this macro, come out of design mode. All you need to do is click the button. You'll see a new row has been inserted, and this row has been dropped down. This is a good feature for keeping things in chronological order. If you're booking things in, for example, or you've got a customer database and you want the newest customers on top, if you was doing it the normal way of adding underneath, once your spreadsheet got to a certain size, you'd be scrolling down to find out the most recent information. With this, you can press New Row, insert the customer information, a new customer comes in, press New Row, drops it down again. I hope this guide has been helpful for you. If you've got any questions or comments, pop them in the section below. I will insert the codes in the comment section. You should just be able to copy that in to the code on your spreadsheet. Thanks for watching. See you next time.